Hello, welcome back. For this fifth installment, we will look at um, a statistical test to test for normality of data, which we will be using is Shapiro Wilkes test. So let me write it up here first. It's called Shapiro Wilkes test or the Railroad Normality test. The purpose of Shapiro Wilkes normality test is to test whether it's a data series or um just a, a set of numbers or sequence of numbers is it normally distributed. So for example, I can say that data equals to um for example two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, then Shapiro Wilkes test is just Shapiro. Okay, Shapiro test and data. Okay, so what it means is this is the p value and this is the w statistics. For Shapiro Wilkes test, the null hypothesis is that the data is normally distributed, while the alternate hypothesis. that the data is not normally distributed. A p-value of 0 0.96 just simply tells us that 96, um, the, the probability that this data, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, comes from a set of data that is normally distributed is 96.72%. So we cannot reject the null hypothesis with more than 0 0.05 uh, based on convention. So let's look back at our data itself. Okay. So we can actually do Shapiro Wilkes test for to test whether is each individual values normally distributed. So for example, we can do a Shapiro Wilkes test to test whether is H normally distributed. So diabetes, H, okay. Now it tells us that the p-value is very low. In fact, it will be, the p-value is 3.61 times 10 to a power of minus six. So it's about three in a, three in a million, okay. So the probability, what this means is if, H is normally distributed. Okay. So the if H is normally distributed, the probability probability of obtaining this result or something more extreme. is 3, 3 3.6, 3.61 in 1 million. Okay. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis that the data is not normally distributed and accept the alternate hypothesis. We reject the null hypothesis that the data is normally distributed and accept the alternate hypothesis that the data is not normally distributed. Okay, so this is how we use Shapiro's test. That's all for today. Okay.